What says women's health care more than free the room? <laughs> Let's talk about it on Asmuth Podcast. I'm Kimberly McNabb, and with me is Barrett McNabb. Yeah, this has just been crazy. The, the, the articles and the videos and the film coming out of the DNC and the area surrounding the DNC uh, convention right now is absolutely off the hook off the chain. I mean, this stuff is you have people that are dressed up uh, in, in, in IUD outfits. Um, there are uh, a giant inflatable IUD um, that's called Free to Room. It's 18 feet tall. That's crazy. <laughs> and, I mean, we, we don't need the circus acts with like the bearded lady because right. we have that in real living color now. <laughs> so people, men calling themselves ladies. But we also have these mobile units by Planned Parenthood performing that on Monday they performed free vasectomies and free abortions and now they're doing free abortions uh, under the guise of you know women's reproductive rights and women's health care I mean first of all a man who is willing to go to a van to get a knife to the nuts <laughs> you get what you deserve it, it almost it almost need, needs to be like uh, you know one of those memes uh, where it's this dirty old van and and it's like um, free puppies free puppies on the inside, on the as, side. They're, as they're driving around or free hugs looks legit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, give me a break. So here's here's kind of the 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 rub that I have with this. So this just goes and tells you exactly who Planned Parenthood is. Because again, they're giving uh, free abortions and they did free vasectomies um, on this Monday, which was uh, August 19th. And and the book solid, like completely yep. booked up, like they ran out of appointments. And so, but what was missing? And what was missing was an amazing and awesome opportunity that Planned Parenthood could have done. They could have had an additional trailer that gave prenatal care to low-income women who are currently pregnant. Yeah, because it is supposed to be pro-choice. Yeah, I mean, they're supposed you... to be for women's health care. And so there are plenty of women that um, probably can't afford prenatal care. And so they're pregnant and they're going through their pregnancy and they're not getting normal, uh, regular ultrasounds. They're not getting uh, you know prenatal vitamins and things like that. They're just hoping to, to get through it and that everything's nice and healthy. But this was a missed opportunity. Planned Parenthood could have had an additional van with uh, OBGYNs uh, to give free um, prenatal care to pregnant women, and they didn't do it. They, well, even the GYN part, gynecology, right. could could have been doing free pap smears right. there, for, there for low-income women. I mean, free host. STD tests because reproductive rights, well, if you're reproduce, capable of reproducing, uh, you're also capable of getting an STD. Right. I'm sh I, I think Republicans could get on board with that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, But, but that's the, the whole point I'm trying to make is they focused on one thing. They focused on vasectomies for men, and they focused on giving uh, mobile abortions. And I, I, I think this, is, this just shows who they are. Um, on what what they actually are standing for, they're not not for women's health care. Um, it's only a specific segment of women's health care, and it's focused on abortions. Well, to say that Planned Parenthood cares about re women's reproductive rights and women's health care, as in the words of Dennis Prager, like saying unions care about workers. Right. Just they because you say you do doesn't mean you actually do. That's true. Amazing. Amazing that you don't mean what you say in the political realm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. I, I don't, I, I, yeah, exactly. But but still, this was a missed opportunity. And there there are actually a lot of pro-choice Democrats, and people don't realize that, that they are. There are, there are pro-choice, um, I'm sorry, pro-life Democrats um, that, uh, that are out there, and they were outraged. That, that this was the focus of Planned Parenthood um, to do these uh, mobile abortions. You know, first of all, you know, how, how do you get licensed? I mean, I'm not an expert, but how do you get licensed for mobile medical procedures, which is what, what this is? Um, you know, I don't know how, how that happens, but still, it, it just, again, it goes to show who they are and what they could have done. Um, they could have helped out low-income uh, women get the correct prenatal care, ultrasounds, prenatal vitamins, uh, things like that, and they, they failed. They failed to do that. Nope. Showing you who they are. Believe right. them. But, you know, 
again, to, to, to go to this fui de womb giant, giant IUD, um, uh, you know, device, of, you know, just to, to have the, the spend the money on that and to have the fanfare of people taking selfies with this thing and everything. I mean, just, it's just weird. I mean, you want to, you, you want to, <laughs> you want to you wanna talk about Tim Walls calling the things that the Republicans do is weird. This is weird. Yeah. I mean, this is this truly is weird. But uh, I mean, as a woman, what what are your thoughts on on doing doing this in a political rally? I mean, again, it's just showing you who they are. They don't care about living creatures. They care about living women. They care about having the right to murder a baby. Yeah, I mean, that's just that, I guess that sums it up. I mean, you have to ask because you know, as as a woman, and, and you've given birth twice. I mean. You, more so than than any if they cared about my reproductive rights they they would have said hey let's make sure that baby cells be healthy because right. you were choosing to keep the baby right it, it should work both ways and in this case i think they failed another case of the democratic party being intellectually dishonest right Anyway, we saw this. We wanted to, to make sure that we brought it to your attention and, and just give you our opinion on what was a missed opportunity by Planned Parenthood. And uh, so thank you so much for watching Azimuth Podcast. So please stay tuned after these messages. Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy our show with all the stories we share, we would love your support. And it's as easy as clicking that subscribe or follow button. This will ensure you never miss an episode and keeps us bringing you these important stories. Your support makes a huge difference. Thank you so much for being part of our podcast family. Thanks, and keep tuning in.